This morning, guys, I was able to log in and finally get access to Act 1 to all my fellow filmmakers and storytellers out there. Let's see what it's all about. All right, I'm gonna, gonna go to runway dot, runwayml.com, get started. And the first thing that I saw this morning was that uh, intro introducing Act 1 generate expensive character performance inside Gen Expressive, not expensive. Hopefully it's not expensive. <laughs> Probably. But now I have access to it. So we'll be able to go like in depth to see how it works. Right. So over here, it says more details. So you can read up on it. And the main thing that I was really concerned about was uh, the cost. So it's, it looks like 10 credits per second. If you do the math, if you have 30 seconds, which is, it seems like that's the maximum output, then it's 30 times 10, which is 300 credits. So 300 credits and uh, so you got to pay attention to your the number of credits that you have on your account because otherwise it can run out pretty quickly. And the maximum resolution is 1280 by 768 at 24 frames per second. It doesn't offer 30 frames per second and platform availability and video image. So these are the, f the main things. So let's go ahead and see what it's all about. So you click on try it now. And this is the first, it's my first day here, guys. So I actually don't know how, what to expect, except to draw from the experience of uh, seeing videos and the ones that I shared about and talked about. But this is the first, uh, my first impressions of this. So here it says available on Gen 3 Alpha, generate expressive character performances. You get videos up to 30 seconds, animate photo reel or animated characters. So I'm very curious to see how this works with uh, like, non-human like you know like stylized characters all right let's try it out click on try it out now and it says add a driving performance and here it says add a video up to 30 seconds with clear facial expressions and minimal body movement all right so here are some samples they provide at the bottom like stylized characters you have different uh you know realistic characters and i want to put in something that i have created well i use mid journey to well i generated using mid journey <laughs> i don't want to say i created it so let's go ahead and select the asset and here i'm gonna upload a video so i have three videos here that i've recorded of myself and they are a total of 30 seconds but i've split it up i've broken it up into two pieces because i want to do an interview of one person and the interviewer interviewee so interviewer and interviewee so we'll take so this is the 30 second version this is the first part and this is the second part actually let me na name it accordingly sorry about that let's uh, call this part two so there's no confusion so i'll start with this one and open it and wait for it to upload depending on how fast your computer is or your internet connection this might go really fast so now it's looking at the video it's a setting so this is 10 seconds because again i'm paying attention <laughs> i know i'm paying attention to the amount of credits that i have i have 478 credits remember 10 credits per one second that's going to translate to 300 credits so i am very very conscious about the result so it's uh you can play this back so thank you for joining us today uh we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence ai what are you gonna do next right so that's part one and then you can you get to add the reference image right so the image that i have and i'll show you in uh, mid journey so here are some characters that i've been rendering right uh, they're going to be my interviewer and interviewee so again pick something that you find that's going to work best for you i'm like i'm thinking i want something that is very clear and it's easy and i want to differentiate also the faces so that it's not complicated right so and then i wanted to maybe like some guy who's a little bit older and maybe this one will work uh, actually this one looks best because it's looking straight at us so that's number one and let me go ahead and uh, appraise that one yes this looks great because it's going to be he's the interviewer and so i'm going to go ahead and save image and going to make this uh, the second one 
okay so he's going to be our interviewer and then we need an interviewee and we can go maybe we, we find something that's relatively different from our character uh, i was gonna say this one maybe yeah let's do this one so appraise two it's gonna be at the bottom let's go ahead and save I'll call this uh two all right, so we have our interviewer and our interviewee. All right, so I have three images here. So this is our interviewer. This was a good candidate, right? So if you look at it, this one is really clear. You can use that. And then there's uh, the interviewer over here. He's looking straight at us. And then there's uh, this one, right? That's going to be the guy that's answering. All right, so let's first put in the first image. So go to add in, upload the input image over here this is our interviewer so open that up so the at the top the first instance was going to be the video so this one we need to crop a little bit uh, that's fine and if you want you can actually scale this up a tiny bit and then crop it like so so you get like an impression that there's, there's an over the shoulder shot right here so we'll crop that right there that's that should be nice right there because the guidance is that you try to keep the head in the shoulders in frame go ahead and crop all right so this is our driving footage up at the top that's me acting doing my thing so thank you for joining us today uh we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence ai what are you gonna do next okay and this is uh add a character reference which is which you've added is photorealistic photorealistic and then uh it says your video is 10 so you'll be charged 101 credits <laughs> okay guys that's what i was saying please please pay attention to these credits it's this gonna be expensive remember when i said expressive and i mystically said expensive so be very careful plan ahead of time right so let's go ahead and click generate and wait for that one make sure that you have gen 3 alpha up there so when i clicked try it it automatically picked gen 3 but if you see there's gen 3 alpha turbo this is the fastest one but i don't know when this will be transferred this uh, act one to gen 3 alpha i've seen that this gen 3 alpha like generates the fastest you know when it comes to image to video but let's this one it's gonna take a little bit of time maybe that's why they assigned it to the eh, anyway we'll see i'm just speculating again but make sure that you have that as the model and so here we go 55 <laughs> i can't wait it says keep hands out of the frame so currently this particular version does not support hands and you know that's really one of the things that we're really wanting to see if it can actually do like body full body in animation because if it can do facial performance and you're able to combine that with a full body animation my gosh that means that you don't need a motion capture suit for this one i didn't have to wear a head mounted camera rig all i did was just talk and make sure that i was in a well-lit area with not many distracting elements up at the back and so we're about to see the results guys <laughs> and then once this is done then we'll do the other one now i am curious to see if i can i don't want to delete this and then start again and mess this up so again this being the, my first time in the platform all right here we go guys let's see how we did so thank oh. you for joining us today uh we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence ai what are you gonna do next <laughs> so thank you for joining us today uh we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence ai what are you gonna do next so thank you for joining us today uh we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence ai what are you gonna do next so guys the difference between this and cling cling does really good job at uh, facial animation but this you're driving the animation with 
the face, the performance. That is the like the prompt. Essentially, the video is the prompt. It is t they are using that as the source to drive this anim the animation of this frame. And look at uh, let me mute this. So let's just look at the body animation. So they've put some subtle, and you see the character is almost like he's breathing, right? It's amazing. This is pretty cool. And now when I look zoom in. You can see there are some issues with uh, like blurriness around there. Let's play this. But it, that subtle head turn, which is in the original video, and then it captures the light. It maintains the light as well. That's amazing. Like, look, by the time he, the character turns, it's still holding up like right there. It's still picking up on the lighting and it updates the lighting on the nose and all that. So that's amazing. Okay. I can't wait to continue trying this out. All right. Let's do the next video. So I'll go ahead and download this. Wait, is there? Uh, yeah, over here. Sorry. I was thinking about Kling. So we've downloaded that one and looks like you can reuse, okay, but I have 377 credits. I need to make it count. So let's do this. Let's delete this. Let's bring the second part. So let's bring the second part of this video or the interview. And this is the part of where the interviewee is gonna answer. And let's uh, generate this and see, and see how it will. And then I'll swap out the image as well, this first image. Okay, this is pretty easy, straightforward. Really, it's the performance that in the video that's gonna you know define all of that. Now I'm looking forward to when they add new features to be able to okay, so this is 19 seconds, right? And if you hover over here, it says your video is 19 seconds long, you'll be charged 192 credits. And <laughs> you can see how many I have left. That's why it's so important to plan ahead of them. Let's delete this one. Let's bring another asset, upload, and let's go. All right, so that was our interviewer. Now let's do our interviewee over here. He's going to be the guy that's going to answer. And that was quick. It uploaded real fast. All right. It looks like this also has to be cropped. So guys, it says cropped to supported aspect ratio of 1280 by 768. Now, you know, as well as I, that HD is 1280 by 720. So they've added some extra pixels over here. So just something that you keep in mind that when you're editing, make sure that you crop properly. All right, so here we've cropped this. All right, so we have our next video. Oh man, it's been rough out here. And I've been told that I could actually start farming. Yeah, I'm considering doing some goat farming. Um, I don't know if goat farming is... AI proof, is it? Is it? All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's go ahead and uh, generate. <laughs> Boom, now I have 185 credits. So guys, that's why this is so important that you plan your generations using uh, this Act 1 in Gen 3 Alpha. This can get expensive real quick. And the, what I see about this, the advantage of having your own head mounted camera rig with a full body motion capture suit and then having your own character is that you can do as many iterations as you want and not worry about having to pay, right? Or credits that you have to deal with. However, on the, on the on the flip side, this one, you can take any picture of anyone of your performance of your character and then drive the facial animation. So if you plan accordingly, you'll be able to maybe generate some uh, exteriors, maybe leading up to this, they walking into this, the radio station for interviewing and then being able to create this character, you know, you don't have to rig this, you don't have to model it, but it's just using the still image that you've generated. So this is going to have its own uses. I don't see it replacing like 3D animation. Like for example, when I'm doing metahumans, now you could take a still image of a metahuman, but you still miss, there's still some things that you're missing out. And this is going to be an expensive <laughs> outlet, as you can see. So for now, I know this is probably going to get better and better and hopefully they will add full body tracking and being able to do like performance, not just for the face, but full body performance. Then that will go like out to a never another level. 
but so far I think for the purposes of maybe doing like static shots bring them to life if you have like a concept I think this is great for concept idea generations like if you want to maybe pitch this to your art director your creative director or team like if you just have an idea and you want to use this as a like almost previous i think that's this is where this is going to shine right and so i can't wait to see what the result is going to be and then i'll be able to put this together maybe do an establishing shot of uh, maybe the lobby and then leading up to this and then we'll be able to compare and put it put it together you know but right now it's limited to 30 seconds per video and it's expensive and that's for sure yeah that's expensive for sure i i can see this right your units being racked up so i am still going i think at this point as a recording of this video it's is today's uh the 27th of uh october 2024 but if you're in the future maybe you've already this has been improve greatly that you don't even have to deal with this what i'm dealing with but all right let's go see the result from the still photo over here to the video it's here oh man it's been rough out here and i've been told that i could actually start farming yeah i'm considering doing some goat farming um i don't know if goat farming is ai proof is it is it oh man it's been <laughs> rough out here and so guys that's it the interviewer starts off joining us today so thank you for joining us today uh we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence ai what are you gonna do next so, okay and then he answers oh man it's been rough out here and i've been told that i could actually start farming yeah i'm considering doing some goat farming um i don't know if goat farming is ai proof is it is it oh man so guys been rough. this has been the my first day in uh using act one i was able to record myself over here and uh i played two parts it's the same video i was thinking of uh, the interviewer and the interviewee and then i'll be able to take the audio swap it out and then be able to do like different voices for the characters you could use 11 labs you could use uh you know wrist feature you know there are so many platforms that you can use so thank you for joining us today uh, we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence, AI. What are you going to do next? Oh, man, it's been rough out here. And I've been told that I could actually start farming. Yeah, I'm considering doing some goat farming. Um, I don't know if goat farming is AI proof, is it? Is it? So, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we've heard that you've lost your job to artificial intelligence, AI. What are you going to do next? Oh, man, it's, it's been, been rough, rough out here. And, and I've been told that I could actually start farming. farming. Yeah, yeah, I'm considering doing some goat farming. Um, I don't know if goat farming is AI proof, is it? Is it? This has been the first test and I hope this was helpful guys. So if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And as always, dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream guys. Let's continue to use these tools to tell our stories. And uh, I mean, keep an eye up guys. Please, please keep an eye on on what is happening right now so you don't you're not left behind but also so even if you're not going to use these tools at least you you get to know what you're up against to be able to formulate a plan to do to find a solution to where you are yeah but this is this it's gonna get better and better i don't think this genie is ever gonna go back in the box at all so thank you again for joining me i'm gonna act now i'm gonna think about scripts of how I can, you know, tell the stories and be able to tell using my own acting, be able to tell a story like that. Thank you so much and bye for now.